crazy Boris's space travel. We take you to the moon. No guarantee of coming back. Only 75 cents and an acorn. If you don't have an acorn, you can't come. Because we're going to start a moon colony. And we need to plant trees. We're going to start a moon forest. And we're going to turn the moonlight on Earth from white to green. And red and yellow in the fall. The kids will love that one. Crazy Boris's moon travel. And we're going to bring up a pile of red bricks. And a dozen school teachers. So we can start a moon school. No, I'm wrong. We're gonna need a dozen school marms, not school teachers. It's gonna be hard to keep those moon kids in line. And we're gonna bring up a gazebo band. Not just a brass band, but a town gazebo band. Because we're gonna need them to play the wrong note every now and then to make the moon gods feel like they're better than us. They're not, but they have all the death rays. <laughs> And we're going to bring up some moon brass so we can make the band some moon trumpets. I only saw one once before, and all it would play was the Blue Danube. We're going to de need to do better than that. And we're going to bring up a pack of hogs and a pack of dogs and a pack of frogs and get us some moon farms going. And the dogs will be howling all the time, because the moon's right there. They'll be howling down instead of up. <clears throat> and we're going to bring up some moon horses with big flat feet to gallop through the loose moon soil. And we're going to bring up some moon showers. And they'll blast moon dirt at you instead of water, because there won't be no water up there to start with. You'll get yourself cleaned like a bird, rolling the dirt. And we're going to bring up some earth diseases to make the effort worth your while. And we're going to bring up some historical characters. The engines! And we're going to give them all the moon land they want. Don't you go telling me that's mean, because we didn't do much better than that on Earth. Now did we? And we're going to bring up Joseph Stalin. We're going to dig him up and bring him up. So he can look down upon you all like he used to. And we're gonna bring up Teddy Roosevelt. Because he can keep Stalin in line. He doesn't need to, of course. Because the school moms can keep anyone in line. But I like Teddy Roosevelt. He can fight off the lunar beasts with his bare teeth. And his feet tied behind his back. And we're gonna bring up a bunch of records in my Victrola. I'm going to have control of the Victrola, and I'm going to play Moonlight Sonata all the dang time. And we're going to bring up the Empire State Building, brick by brick. And we're going to rebuild it on the moon, so it can be a beacon for all the space traffic we're going to get. It's dang useless on the Earth. There is going to be a mooring station for the Hindenburg, but no, they said it was impractical and dangerous. Ha! We're going to attract all kinds of space blimps. Crazy Boris's star travel. Now you ask me, how are we going to get to the moon, Mr. Crazy Boris? Because that's my name. I changed it legally. Well, I'll tell you. I've got my old friend Jackie Gleason here. Are you ready, Jackie? Ready, Boris. One. Two, three, one of these days, Alice, one of these days, pow, to the moon. Crazy boys, it's my trouble.